Hello, my beautiful collective. Welcome. Okay, we're going to tap into a message from your person. Their hidden feelings. What they can't tell you at this moment. If this is a no contact situation, we'll take a look at the end if there's going to be contact. Okay, and let's start with some messages. What do we have for our collective? What messages do we have for our collective? Okay. I love you unconditionally. Okay. I'm getting that if this is a new relationship, I'm getting that this is surprising to you. You didn't feel like this person could be so attached so quickly. Okay. And I feel for some of you that this is a person that you may have been dealing with for a long time. This is someone that you have a lot of connection with. I regret lying to you. Um, and I feel like you and this person, and I feel like you know what this lie is about. You know what's going on with this person. And... They feel very restrained. So now they're trying to tell you, you know, I love you unconditionally. Do you love me unconditionally as well? So they're trying to kind of reflect that upon you. You know, they're trying to deflect their feelings so that they don't have to deal with them. So they don't have to deal with the regret so they can deflect that regret upon you. Right? So they're trying to pull on your heartstrings here. To try to get out of whatever it is that they lied to you about. Whatever this is that has put a strain on your relationship. Okay. I'm sensing a divine male who has tried to manipulate the relationship a lot. You know, they'll try to place blame on you. Try to gaslight you. To make you feel like you're the reason why this is happening. You're the reason why things are going the way that they're going and that they're not getting any better. So I feel like someone is gaslighting you to make you feel like you're less than what they need. When in actuality, my beautiful collective, you're actually more. And you're worth so much more. Than what this person is giving you. Okay. I'm not here to give you relationship advice. I'm here to tell you what I see in the cards. But I feel like this. This male. My opinion. He's not worth your time. You know. You're worth so much more. Than what this person is giving you. Okay. Let's get into more messages. I couldn't let you get close to me. Yeah, I feel like they you couldn't get close to them because they were hiding things from you. They were hiding who they really were, who they really wanted you to see is what they shown you. You know, I feel like this person is covering up a lot of their wrongdoings. And they're doing it so that they can keep a hold of you. Yeah, what did I say? They want you. And they want to keep a hold to you um, any way possible. I feel like this person is very manipulative. Very manipulative. I know I was a distraction to your pain. Yeah, you know, they'll try to pull on your sympathy card. You know, I feel like that's what they're doing. They're pulling on your sympathy card. You know, oh, woe is me. I was a distraction to your pain. You know, when in actuality, they know that they don't deserve you. They don't. They don't deserve you. That's the reason why they started out with, I love you unconditionally. You know, we will be together again. And that's what they want because this person wants to feel wanted. They want to feel needed. They want to feel appreciated. Um, but I'm sensing that this person 
didn't make you feel appreciated. They didn't make you feel wanted. You know, but they want to live that life again to where they feel like they're number one. And then you're set off on the back burner. Oh my Lord. My beautiful collective. This is just the energy that I'm getting from this reading for this person is just exceptionally manipulative. Finding out the truth crushed me. Okay. I wish I could take back my words. I, I feel like this person is very sorry for what they said to you because they know that they messed up. They know that you see them for exactly who they are now and exactly what they can bring to the table. And you're just not impressed. You know, I see that you finally have been able to see through this person and you're finally able to accept the truth that this person is just this ball of negative energy, right? Very manipulative, very gaslighting, very... Um, Toxic. Yeah, toxic. As soon as I started channeling this energy, it's just like... Mm, mm, mm. I don't react to people when... Uh, when people men mention you. I don't react when people mention you. I wish things could be different. You know what, um, and I feel like if things could be different, I feel like this person would be different. Um, I'm going to have to sage this whole desk after this reading because this energy is just... Mm. I feel like this person needs to be a, have a different attitude. The attitude that this person has is just toxic. It's just overwhelming and it's just very negative and manipulating. And I feel like I just want to give my collective a big hug for just dealing with this person. Because this person is just, mm, you just want to, you know, I'm going to get two more cards on this energy and then I'm going to move on. Give me a message, Spirit. Give me a message. What else does this person have to say? More messages from this person. Okay, so many things remind me of you. And I left when I saw you with someone. Okay. I'm starting to understand our connection. Um, I feel like this person... They have a hard time understanding any kind of concept when it comes to a connection because they only see a connection as being one-sided and that's their side. I feel like this person is just viewing things from their side, viewing things from their emotions and they're very so self-centered that they can't have any ability of seeing things from your level because my beautiful collective, you're on a higher level and this... You're on a higher level. This person is down here, right? And and I feel like by saying the nice things that they say, you know, okay, yeah, you remind me. So many things remind me of you. I left when I saw you with someone. Yeah, but good for you. You've moved on from this toxic energy because you know that you don't deserve that, you know? And things should remind them of you because and I can feel the hurt that they brought upon you. You know, I can feel the heartbreak that they left you in during the situation. So I'm very overwhelmed and I'm very angry actually. I'm getting pissed with this energy because it's just like very overwhelming. It's very toxic energy. And... I, I don't like it. Point blank. I don't like it. I wonder if you'll be happy without me. Oh, Lord, I hope so. You know, because this person needs a lot of soul searching to do. This person needs to do a lot of inner work before 
they actually get into another relationship and break someone else's heart because the manipulation that I'm feeling from this person is just very overwhelming. It's very toxic and it's just, yeah, we're going to move from this. I don't like it at all. I'm sorry that you've been through a situation with this type of person because you don't deserve that. You don't deserve it. I don't even want to channel this energy anymore with this person. Okay. Spirit, give me a message for my beautiful collective. Give me a message for my beautiful collective. What does my beautiful collective need to know? What does my beautiful collective need to know? Just a moment. I'm getting ashes on the table, so I'm sorry. Please look past the ashes. I'll clean them up after the reading. collective what do you need to know okay let's get into some different energy here I want to let this person go because this person here is nasty right okay Whew. I want to give you the life that you deserve okay we have karma We have my insecurity stop me. And we have at, having an honest conversation. Now at the bottom of this, we have proposal. Okay. Now I'm, I'm hoping my beautiful collective that you have moved past this person. That you have went on to someone so much better. Okay. So let's get into this energy. I want to give you the life that you deserve. And I feel like you deserve a beautiful life, my beautiful collective. Whatever karma that um, the past person has brought upon you, I feel like that karma is being returned to them. Right? Their insecurities are now stopping them from inflicting these insecurities, this toxic energy, this negativity on someone else. But I feel like if you are with a new person now, my beautiful collective, there's an honest conversation that you'll be having having with this person. There's an honest conversation that, you know, you are going to be opening up, they're going to be opening up. And I feel like there is a proposal down the road because I feel like this person feels like you are someone very special. And I feel like they see that. I feel like they feel that. They, they see your qualities and what you bring to the table, my beautiful ones. And they want to like bottle that up and keep it all to themselves. You know, that's, <laughs> that's the image that I'm getting. I just want to bottle you up and keep you all to myself. You know, I feel like that's why that proposal is coming through here. Okay. So, let's get some more messages for my beautiful collective. Let's get some more messages. Okay. Yes, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I want to have a family with you. Okay. Yeah, this person sees you as a long term. 
They see you as their future, as building a family, wanting to have children, or wanting to blend your families together. However your family is going to work, I feel like they want to create that family with you. Whatever that family looks like, right? And I feel like you and this person are kind of mirroring yourself. You're mirroring each other. You both have the same qualities. You both have a lot of likes and dislikes. Your characteristics are pretty much the same when it comes to your morals, your outlook, your um, intentions. Actually, even um, you could even be the same sign as this person. Or you can have the same rising sign or um, sun sign or moon sign. You know, and I feel like your signs are kind of inter interconnecting. Okay, I feel like this person is planning a big surprise for you. So I feel like there's going to be a surprise that you are not going to be expecting in the very near future. Okay, so take this how it resonates. And now I'm going to go ahead and get, I'm going to get a little bit of romance tarot. Let's see where this connection is going. Because I feel like it's going towards this long-term commitment. That's what I'm feeling. Now, whoever this nasty person was that you were dealing with before, cut them off. Cut that energy out. Let it go. Release it. Okay? Don't let that person back in. Because I feel like that person is trying to worm its way in. That's the reason why I was channeling their energy. Because they're trying to get close to you. They're trying to get away back into your life. So this, this past love or past energy, ex, whatever you want to call them, you know, cut them loose. Let them go. Bye. You know, because, yeah, he's just, yeah, no good. Okay, give me a message for my collective. What does my collective need to know about their current situation? A happy change. Oh, I'm loving it. Okay, so I feel like a happy change is about to emerge for you, my beautiful collective. Your angels have heard your prayers and have banded together to create a real and joyful change in your life. Events begin to move forward and great progress will now be possible. You may need to make some rapid decisions due to the suddenness of activity. Be confident and trust the guidance you receive. Okay, so yeah, I feel like there's going to be some big happy changes coming across. And, you know, we've got this proposal here, okay, and this planning a big surprise. So that's very interesting. Okay, we have the two of abundance. So definitely some choices that you're going to be making. And I feel like, you know, there's going to be a big decision on the horizon for you. So this two of pinnacles energy, the two of abundance is setting your priorities, right? You know, weighing your options, finding out what's going to work best for you. Um, let's see, I'll go ahead and read it for you. Life has many feelings. Excuse me. Life may be feeling a bit out of balance right now. You could be working multiple jobs or trying to make a change to your dream career. It's important to keep things light and stay in touch with your inner child. Make your work as playful as possible. Multitasking with a positive attitude brings success. Okay, so you could be multitasking several different different opportunities, but I, what I'm feeling with this card is a decision. Setting your priorities, okay, weighing your options on a decision that you need to make. Okay, we'll go ahead and get one more card, one more card, spirit, one more card. Thank you. The three of emotion, three of cups energy. So I definitely feel like you're being supported. Spirit is watching over you right now when it comes to this three of cups energy. Wonderful news is on the way. Announcements regarding engagements, pregnancies, births, and graduations will be revealed. 
new friends will be made and com or communities of like-minded people will draw closer to one another. Exciting new beginnings and happy endings are just around the corner. So beautiful energy here. You know, there's that big happy surprise coming forward with this Three of Cups energy. You know, at the bottom we have out with the old and in with the new. Heaven is showing you a sign that it's time to move in a new direction. Often this is because you're not happy or you feel a lack of purpose in your life. This is a wake-up call to make changes that match your heart's desires and spiritual truths. Okay, so yeah, it's time to make that happy change. I feel like that happy change is on the horizon for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look and see. Now, if you've had no contact with your person, let's see what we have. If you've had no contact with your person, let's get a message. No contact. Ooh. Okay. Okay. <sighs> okay. My beautiful collective. Here's the thing. I feel like if you haven't had any contact with your person, this is a sign, an indication to that this person has let go of the connection they've let go of this connection but i feel like there's changes being made in the connection um there's this ending but after this ending there's this new possible beginning but i feel like things have ended with this relationship you've had no contact with this person for your greater good right Things are coming into balance for you because if you haven't had any contact with this person, it's because this person was not your person. This was not the one that's meant for you. This karma is coming through to let you know that your person is on the way. Okay? You are going through these happy changes. You are going to have this happy ending. We have the Ten of Cups on the bottom. So definitely, you are going to have this happy ending. Now, this person that, you know, you have no contact with, I can't say the same for them because I feel like this person is going to get their karma. So if they've done something, they have to be in judgment of that. Okay? So that's their burden to carry. Okay? So let's go ahead and get your angel number. What do we have for my beautiful collective? We have one, two, three, vision. Your path will not look identical to anyone else's. That is what makes you unique. Remember that you, as you stay on the path that feels connected, the path will continue to lead you to alignment. Let your vision be as different as you are. Okay, your affirmation, my path is mine and mine alone. When I follow my past alignment, comes naturally. Okay, so I feel like spirit is giving you encouragement when it comes to the path that you are on right now. Because there's happy changes that are coming forward for you. Okay, so the person that you've been in no contact with, that was not the person meant for you. Spirit is letting me know that the person that is meant for you is, you know, very close. Okay, very close at hand. They want to spend time with you. They're working on getting things together. Okay, so hang tight, my beautiful collective. To your next reading, many blessings, love and light.